Hey there, everybody. It's Jessica. I just wanted to um, kind of go through what exactly um, gel nails are, what exactly gel polish is, um, acrylic and dip acrylic, um, and explain the difference between them um, because us women have a lot of options when we go um, have our nails done. And if you are thinking about having some kind of enhancement put on top of your nail, um, you're going to want to know what they are um, and know what you're asking for. Because a lot of these um, cheaper salons where you can walk in and out will provide you a service um, that is they're saying that it is what you're paying for but it's really not so um, I'm here to explain exactly what everything is um, so let's get started okay so over here on this side um, I have like an acrylic selection there's um, different types of acrylics that you can get um, acrylics are typically applied using a liquid monomer and a powder uh, that create a hard protective layer over your natural nails and acrylics only harden when exposed to the air. Um, so when the acrylic hardens it provides the perfect canvas for applying nail color and fills are usually required every two to three weeks. Um, but when you go to the salon and you ask for acrylic nails what they're going to do is use a powder and a liquid and typically they use a big fat brush. And the brush is going to be dipped down inside of the acrylic and then put into this powder, which will create um, a molding-like substance that is applied on top of your nail to give you the perfect form. Now, acrylics come in many different colors. Um, there is another thing that is super confusing to some people. What's the difference between acrylic nails and solar nails? Acrylic is solar. Um, this company right here, CND, which stands for Creative Nail Design, Creative Nail Design created a um, powder. I don't think they make it anymore, but they, they made a powder called Solar Nail, and it's just a brand. And for some reason, that stuck around, and people call them Solar Nails. Um, solar nails are the same thing as acrylic. Acrylic is dipping a brush down into the monomer and then down to your polymer. So that, that's it. That's what an acrylic is. Um, they do come in many different colors. So you can do pink. Um, there's red. Um, I have this really pretty glittery blue. Um, basically any color you want. Um, you can also take glitters and you can encapsulate them on the inside. You can use caviar beads. There's these cute little, um, little mylar flowers and, and there's all kinds of things that you can put inside of acrylics. They're really fun to do. Um, there is another kind of acrylic and that is a dip system. Um, this is made by back scratchers right here back scratchers and basically what this is is another form of acrylic um, you apply a resin on top of your nail and then you dip your finger down into the powder to create um, a nail and this is all done without using an electric file um, the pros of an acrylic nail is that if you break an acrylic nail you can almost fix it at home by yourself um, as long as you are taking the correct sanitary precautions to do so um, the removal process is simple and straightforward um, when performed by a professional and the nails can be soaked off rather than having to be filed off um, acrylics are really strong and when they're done properly and taken care of properly they last a very long time and you very rarely have to have them replaced um, acrylic nail application tends to cost less than a gel nail application. Um, the downside of acrylic nails is that they can damage your nail bed when they're not applied properly. Um, and when they're not applied properly, they can create a breeding ground for fungus and bacteria. So that's not good. Um, 
So you want to make sure that you are going to a professional who knows what they're doing. Um, and a good professional will actually educate you on the service that you're getting um, and the different types of services they offer and kind of just uh, walk you through the process so that you're not just sitting there dumbfounded. Uh, um, another con is that the acrylics may look less natural than gels, especially if they're applied incorrectly. Um, the application involves strong chemicals and fumes, so whenever you do walk into those salons and you are um, hit in the face by that strong odor, that's acrylic. Uh, pregnant women should not get acrylic nails just because of the fumes. Um, it's just highly advised that they do not. Um, let's move over to the gels. Okay, gel, this is like a gel selection. There are two different types. You have your gel polishes, which are down here, and then you have a um, hard gel. Now, hard gels are another form of nail enhancements, and they um, provide the strength of acrylic nails, but have the appearance of natural nails. Um, unlike acrylic nails, they only harden when you put them underneath a UV light, and uh, fills are required every two to three weeks as well. Um, let me see if I can get this open to show y'all. Now, you will definitely know what the difference between acrylic and gel is. If you go into a salon and you ask them for gel nails, um, a lot of these salons will put acrylic nails on you and then they will put a gel polish color on top and call it gel nails and charge you for a gel nail. So you really have to pay attention and know what you're asking for. Um, obviously, a lot of people will know exactly what acrylic is because it is a very loose powder. If you can see that. Loose powder, and then the um, gel, as you can see, is very runny, and it comes in a clear, pink, um, white, many different colors as well. But that is gel when it is gooey and running out. That is what a gel brush is, and it's usually applied with like a white or maybe like a yellow tip um, brush. Um, so the uh, pros of gel nails is that they look more natural and they're glossy, um, a lot more glossier than other types of cosmetic nails. Um, the curing time is a lot faster than acrylics. Gel nail mixtures um, lack the fume associated with acrylic nails, so they are considered to be safer and more um, eco-friendly. Um, and a great option for pregnant women, especially because there are no fumes. Um, the cons of gel nails is that they don't last as long and they are less durable than acrylics, um, even though they tend to cost more. Uh, most gel nails require UV light for curing, um, so they are harder to do at home. So that means you will need to find a nail professional um, to have these done. If a gel nail breaks, um, maybe in for some trouble, so you need to find a nail tech um, and make an appointment with them because it will have more of a shatter effect than a clean break, so you cannot really repair that yourself. Um, gel nails often have to be filed off. Um, for example, the ones that I have, these do not stay soakable, so they are a um, semi-permanent kind of acrylic or I'm sorry not acrylic semi-permanent kind of nail enhancement so meaning I have to use my electric nail file to take the bulk off um, rather than soak but there are some gels like hard gels that are soakable um, it just depends on the brand um, let's see and then the gel polish when you ask for gel polish, we'll come in a, or like a gel manicure. And again, like some people like to call it shellac. Um, C&D made a brand called shellac, which is a gel polish. They're all the same. There's a bunch of different companies out there that make a gel polish. But gel polishes will come in a bottle form. And there, there's many, many different colors as well. 
Um, gel polishes are similar to nail polish because you have a base coat, um, color, and then a top coat. And each coat has to be cured underneath the UV light for two to three minutes. And because it's like a polish, it, can, um, it can't be used to extend your nail. So when you're asking for a gel polish or like a gel manicure, you can't add length to it. Um, there's no possible way to do that. So you would need to ask for a gel nail, not a gel manicure. Or you would need to ask for a dip acrylic or just a regular acrylic nail. Um, but because it's like a gel, it does add strength and durability. Um, in the long term, gel polish is much less damaging to the nails rather than traditional gels or acrylics. Uh, the pros would be that the main benefit apologize that my son got a little rowdy right there. The main benefit from gel polish is that it reduces chipping, unlike your tr traditional polish application. And the cons is that it cannot be filled. So every two to three weeks, you're going to have to soak them off completely and have a fresh manicure and then the application of your gel polish. Um, so hopefully that cleared the air a little bit to let you guys know like exactly what you are getting or what to ask for. Um, just be aware. Definitely ask questions if you're going to go to a um, shop that allows you to walk in and out because they will um, they, they do they are very sneaky and they like to charge you for things that you are really not receiving um, so thanks for watching if you have any questions um, just leave a comment and I will get back with you as soon as I can thanks guys bye